Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how we use SCP IoT replication server to replicate data from the SCP source system to SCP corona system. And this slide gives a quick overview about the architecture of the IoT replication server. As you can see here, the IoT replication server does not have to be a separate ISP system and can run on any SCP system with SCP NetWeaver 7.02 above stack, and the kernel is 7.2. And in our case, we will use the LT replicant server which was installed on SCP BW7.31. The SCP BW7.31 plays the role of the SCP source system here for our demo purpose. All right. Um, before we start the configuration of the IoT replication server, let's have a quick look about the SCP BW7.31 and the SCP horn system. Now, let's first have a look at the SCP BW7.31. Here, as you can see, it's SCP now above 7.31. If I click detail component, we will see the list of software components I have imported. I have imported to this uh, BW seven through one. And if uh, I scroll a little bit back, I will see this DMRS, and this is the LT replication server component. So if you want to use your SCP source system as the LT replication server, you have to import this. A software component to your SCP system. So in our case, because we want to use SCP BW as the IoT replicator platform, so that I for I have already imported this DMIS component, right? Then we can go to the target system, the harness system. So here we started this harness system already, and this is the latest harness. Support package six. You can see here. If I go to administration, we will see this very detailed information about the SCP Horn. So the release is uh, SPS six, right? Here the release. And you see this uh, the database user memory and the resident memory disk usage. And all the detailed information, you can also see the alert, performance, and configuration, system information, okay? So now let's start to configure the IoT replicant server in the ICP BW system, all right? And in order to do that, I have to input transaction code LTR. Here we go. We will have a web page pop up. Then I need to in just input my user and password for the SPP database system. Yeah, this is the configuration, you know, um, window for the LTR replication server. So far, we don't have any configuration created. We just click the new, create a new one. It's just a very general information we need to fill out. The configuration name, I just give it LTR. Because we, we we will replicate data from SCP BW to SCP Hornet Hornet system. It's the same case if you want to replicate data from SCP ERP, all right? I put the same for description. For the job, I put it 10. Connection to source system because in our our source system is SCP BW, so it's definitely a SCP system. The out de 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 destination, I can click drop down list. I can choose the B73. This is the out connection I have already created so far. Because I only want to re replicate data from the client ten a uh, client one, so that I take this checkbox. Now I need to input the use and password to get connect to the HANA system.
that I took possibly. Pilot's name. Instant, the instance number is also the whole instance number. And here you can choose this real time or schedule, okay? Because we want to test the real time capability, so I just take this real time. Then I click OK. See here, we have this LTR BW created. Click it. So we should have another. You see, there's three tables DD0 to L, DZ, DD0 to T, and HL is all the, all the uh, replication uh, repository table. So this table should be replicated to the target disk, right? So you see the job is already running. And also, if I go to this SM50, I see the background job. See here, we have some transaction running. Because the system will force to replicate those repository table from SAP BW to the top harnesses. Now let's go to the horn system to have a quick look. So we go to the catalog. See here we have the new schema. LTRBW. This is related to the configuration name we import in the LTR configuration window. See here is LTRBW. Now we go to here, it's those jobs. They are running 30 in process. Okay, those three tables. How many seconds? Just keep refresh. And also we can go to the SCB horn to see these three tables. All right, so we go to the SCB Horn Studio. We just expand this game LTRBW. We go to the table. See this three table? Okay, we go to the open content. See, we have some data, all right? All the tables. So we just wait a few minutes to have the replication done for these three tables. Now, as we can see, all the background process have been uh, completed. So that means the replication has been done already. So we can go to the SCP HANA Studio uh, to check the uh, replication status. We go to the HANA Studio and we choose the modeler. Then we go to the data provision. Now we can see all these three reported tables have been replicated to HORNA successfully. Uh, if we go to the table dd 0 l we can go to open content, see, we can see all these uh, uh, records have, have been replicated successfully. All right, so the next step, we're gonna to load a specific table, you know, um, as the active table of the DSO object, we're gonna first replicate the empty table, and then we will load some data in ICPBW. And in principle, the HANA should get the replicated data in real time. So now let's sort and have a look. Okay, if we go to the uh, ICPBW, we choose the data store object. This is the sealed order. Currently, there's no data loaded for this DSO. So, with this table, we go to the HANA Studio. Then we click the replicate. We search this table. Here is the active table, right? So it's uh, the uh, DSO active table. So I choose this. Uh, active table and click finish. So yeah. now we then go to this LTR configuration window. We see the trigger. As we can see, the trigger is active and the stati statistics is the replication is scheduled. All right. So everything is growing here. 
we can also check even how many transfer jobs they initially allowed. And we can compare how many background jobs here. We can see the background process has been sorted. That means the replication is in process. Also, we can check this in HANA Studio. We click refresh. Here we see the load has been done successfully for this table. So that means if we refresh the table and the schema LTRBW, we should be able to see we should be able to see the uh, uh, active table this DSO, right? Click refresh. So here we have the table we just loaded. Now if we go to open content, see we don't have any content here. So far, we don't have any records loaded to the uh, uh, DSO, right? Now we let's try to load some data here. Uh, wait a moment here. So refresh. Okay, I see the replicate the status is in process. That means the system is keeping monitoring all this change in the source system. If there's new data, I mean, uh, updates in this DSO table, uh, those data will be replicated to SCP Horn in real time. So let's just check if it works or not in our system, right? Since we have already replicated the empty table to Horn, Horn the next step, we're going to load some data to this DSO. Here we have 202 records loaded. Now we have to activate data. Okay, keep refresh. Wait a few seconds. The data should be activated per soon. Should be done. All right, it's current. So if we go to the active table here, we see we see this data, right? So let's see how many data we have. Should be two hundred two. All right. So now let's go to the uh, Honor Studio. Say we click refresh, import size. Now let's go to this. I copy this SQL statement and I open new SQL. Let's see how many records we have so far. See, we have 202 in Honor Studio, uh, in Honor. That means all data has been replicated to Honor successfully. I use the count, I can choose all the data. See, all the data have been replicated to Honor successfully, all right? We can do one more check or one more test. We can just try to delay the data from DSO, so in principle, the data in HANA database should be deleted accordingly, right? We go back to ICP BW and then we go to delete. Just wait a few seconds. Okay, the deletion has been done. Now we go back to the Horn Studio chat status. Okay, we can run this SQL statement again. See, we don't have it. That means if the because the data was deleted in ICP BW, which is the source system for the SB Horn. So because we have set up the LTR replication in real time, that means all the deletion has been done in the source system, SDBW in our case. 
will be reflected in the home database. All right, so the test, the test is successful. That means the, re the LT replicated server can replicate data from the SCP source system BW to the home database in real time. Okay, thanks for watching.